Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the support for GCC and G++ on your Ubuntu operating system. So using GCC, you can compile C programs and using G++, you can compile C++ programs on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's see how we can add the support for both of these compilers. So first of all, you need to open your terminal. You can open the terminal by pressing ctrl alt t at the same time or you can go to applications and then open the terminal from here also once the terminal is open you need to give these two commands so the first command is sudo apt update and then press enter and then give your ubuntu's password which you use to log in to your ubuntu operating system so what this command is going to do is it's going to update the package index on your Ubuntu operating system. Just wait for this command to finish. So once this command is finished, let me clear the terminal. You can clear the terminal by giving this command clear and then press enter, which is going to basically clear your terminal, right? So the first command was sudo apt update once this command is finished the second command we need to give here is sudo apt install build essentials so this command is going to install the build essential development package which automatically adds the support of for gcc and g++ right so just give this command sudo apt install build essential and then press enter and then press y to continue and then press enter and just wait for this command to finish so once these two commands finished successfully let me clear the terminal and now you can give the gcc command or g++ command to test that so to test the version of gcc you have on your ubuntu operating system you can just write this command gcc hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and it's going to give you some output like this right so it says gcc ubuntu and then the version of gcc which we have installed is 11.3.0 similarly you can check the version of g++ so just write g++ hyphen hyphen version and it's also going to give you the version of g++ on your ubuntu operating system now let's check whether this gcc command and g++ command is working fine on your ubuntu operating system for this you can create a very simple c uh, program and uh, compile it and test it right so in order to create any file uh, on your ubuntu operating system you give the touch command but before that we are going to create a directory in which we want to create our c or c++ program so you can just write mkdir and the name of your folder in which you want to create your C or C++ program, right? I'm going to uh, name my folder as uh, work folder, for example. And what it's going to do is it's going to create this work folder, right? This work folder is created. Then you can go inside this work folder and then you create a C or C++ file here so just write touch and then the name of your file i'm going to name my file as uh, let's say test.c okay so test.c and then press enter once you have created your c file when you give this ls command you will be able to see the file name inside your work folder once the C file is created, you can open the C file using any editor of your choice. If you haven't installed any editor on your Ubuntu operating system, you can open the C file with the default editor, which is the gedit editor, right? So you can just write gedit here and then test.c and then press enter, which is going to open this C file in this graphical uh, editor. So this editor comes pre-installed in your Ubuntu operating system. So if you don't have any editor, just open it with your gedit uh, application. 
and then I'm going to just add a very simple hello world C program here. You can find this program anywhere on, on internet so I'm not going to uh, write the full program here. And then once you have your C program just save it and then close this file. Once you have your program in order to compile your C program you can give this command gcc and then hyphen o and then the name of your binaries. So this is going to be the name of your binary file which means the output of your compilation right and then give the name of your C file. So my uh, C file name which I have created is test.c and in this test.c I have my C program and I want to compile this. So I have written gcc hyphen o test is the name of the output which I want to generate and this is the file which I want to compile. Press enter and once you have uh, given the enter command once it's successful when you ls into your folder once again you will see that a new file is created here which is a binary file and this file you can run now right and it will give you the output of your program so you can just write dot forward slash and the name of your binary which is in our case test dot forward slash test press enter and it prints hello world because we, in our C program we were printing hello world. So this is how you can uh, compile and run your C program. Now let's say your C program contains some error. So I'm going to just uh, open my C file with gedit command. So gedit test.c and here let's say I will remove the semicolon here. In every line of C you need this semicolon at the end but if you don't provide this semicolon that means your compiler will give you an error. So when you give this gcc command to compile your C program when you press enter you can see it gives us error because compilation has failed and it says error expected semicolon before return here on this line it also shows you uh, where can the possible error come from right so you need to fix that so you can fix that once again by going to the program adding this semicolon once again and let's say this time I edit my program and add some more exclamation marks here and then save and then close it right let me clear the terminal once again. Let me clear the terminal. That command is clear, right? And then once again, when you give the gcc hyphen o test and the name of your file, and once that's uh, compiled, you can run it once again. And this time you will see the new output with the hello world, but we, but we have added these uh, marks here so it will also print that right so this is how you can add the support for gcc and g on your ubuntu operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video